Hi, my name is Pierre. I'm a sales engineer with Actuate, currently based in Paris. I'm going to take you through a short demo. Today we will take a look at styles and themes in BERT development. This video is intended to be a primer on styles and themes, just to give you an idea on how they work. When building a BERT report, I can create and apply a style to just about any report item I put on my page. For example, if I add a label to my report, I can create a style and specify the background color. Styles are created based on the CSS standard and as such can be imported directly from existing style sheets. Once I have created a style, I can reuse it on other items, such as a text control. Styles can help you standardize the look and feel of a report. But what if you want to standardize the look and feel of all your reports? A report library seems a great way to share styles. In a library, styles can be added as part of one or many themes. In fact, when you create a new report library, a default theme is added automatically. Let's add a new style to the default theme. I'll call this one green style and change the background color to green. I'll save the report library. Now back in the report, I need to add the library to the list of libraries used by the report in order for the style to be found. In the properties of the label, I should find the green style in the list of styles, but it is not there. That's because the style is part of a theme, and I need to specify which theme I'm using at the report level. After that, I can choose the green style from the list of styles for the label item. I can do the same for the text item and apply the green style. Of course, the big advantage here is to be able to change the style at the library level and have it impacted in all the reports that use it. As an example, I can change the font color in the green style and see its impact right away in my report. You can have more than one theme defined in a library. Going back to my library, I will create a new theme. Themes can be of two types, report item themes or generic themes. Generic themes will include custom styles that can apply anywhere. Report item themes are item specific and contain predefined styles. Let's create first a report item theme for labels. When creating a report item theme, I can only modify predefined styles. For a label, the style is called label. I'll change the background color to blue and save the library. When I go back to the report, the new theme appears in the list for the label in the report. However, since styles override themes, I need to remove the style of my label to see the impact. When I go to the text item, the label theme does not show because that type of theme only applies to labels. Let's create another theme, this time for tables. Table themes have more styles available. 
and that's because tables are items with multiple sections such as headers and footers. Let's make a quick change to the table header style. Again, we'll change the background color and save the library. Back in the report, I'll drop a table from the data set. Notice the existing formatting of the table for headers and footers. It is based on the default theme included with every report as part of the themes report items library. Changing the theme to the table theme I just created will apply the new header style. The last theme I'm going to show is the chart theme. The chart theme is created as a report item theme. In the case of a chart theme, there are two options. Creating a general chart theme that applies to all type of output formats or creating an HTML5 specific chart theme. The general chart theme is created with a dialog that looks like the chart creation wizard. Here I can apply default formatting such as font size and color for the title. Let's create an HTML5 chart theme this time. The HTML5 chart theme is specific to HTML5 charts. In this case, you need to refer to the High Charts API to write the JavaScript code that will format HTML5 charts. JavaScript can be applied to the chart object as with this example that adds grid lines to the y-axis or as part of a client-side scripting. Let's see how we can apply chart themes to a chart. First, let's drop a chart in our report. We'll select the data that will be applied to the chart. In the chart theme dropdown, I can select either the general chart theme that will change the title formatting, or because this is an HTML5 chart, the HTML5 specific chart theme that adds grid lines. I hope you enjoyed that quick tour of using styles and themes with BERT. Don't forget to go to BERTExchange.org for more information about BERT.